Now, maybe she doesn't know. She know Beyonce doesn't know. Yeah, I don't think Beyonce. And they're not going to share Yvette that with her. knows. Her I got the receipts. Know. I still her have the receipts. Know. But what I've heard about them as a couple is that they've been living separate lives for a very long time. So they together, but they live in separate. Are there women who are supporting Cassie who maybe have some stories about you that might feel a bit similar? You need to be put on mute. This is not your time. So word on the street is that Jason Lee has some real tea to spill on Beyonce and Jay-Z's rumored marriage problems. And folks are now saying Jason actually tried to hint at their separation way before any of us even peeped it. So if you've been scrolling through socials these past weeks, you likely saw Jason blowing up and throwing shade at Queen Bay right on his talk show. A few months back, Jason straight up blackmailed Beyonce on camera, saying he'd spill some serious dirt about her and Jay's marriage unless she got Kelly Roland to bless his show. Now back then, folks didn't really get what he was going on about and they dragged him through the mud for coming at Beyonce like that. But hold up, with all these fresh rumors swirling about Beyonce possibly calling it quits with Jay-Z, everybody's going back to what Jason spilled. And let me tell you, the deets are way messier than you thought. Y'all grab a seat cause this tea is steaming and I am not sipping it alone. And we can take it back a step further. We can go all the way back to when he was trying to get with Aaliyah. The Foxy rumors. This man has a legit history of what he's allegedly doing to Beyonce now. So why is it so far-fetched to y'all to think that he's not doing the same thing to Beyonce? Just because it's Beyonce? I'm gonna need y'all to take y'all stand caps off and put your thinking caps on. All right, so let me break down this drama for y'all. So the whole situation with Jason Lee started back in December when Jason caught feelings because Beyonce left him off the guest list for her Renaissance movie premiere bash in London. Now she invited a bunch of other influencers, but not our boy Jason. So he went on camera saying that Beyonce doesn't support black media. Jason also claimed he dropped 40 grand on Renaissance concert tickets and swag for his crew, thinking that was his golden ticket to the event. But Beyonce didn't send that invite his way, even though she hooked up other influencers who barely ride for her and definitely didn't drop half the cash he did on her gear. I think optically, when you don't include other black leaders in the culture in the fold, I mean, not just take me out of it, the Breakfast Club, I mean, you should have honored and brought more black. And I spent thousands of th over $40,000 in tickets and shared the experience with friends. Uh, and I've done a lot and I'm not even going to say it here because if I did, this internet, Beyonce's good internet, would go crazy. Now check this out. It's about to get real messy. After Jason spilled all the tea and the little rants, he went on his show and started dishing some of the dirt he claimed to have on Beyonce. And let me tell you, the guests on that show were shooketh to the chorus. Like, their jaws were literally on the floor. And then Jason took it to the next level and straight up blackmailed Queen Bay, saying that he's only gonna keep his mouth shut about the info he's holding if she can work some magic and get Get Kelly Rowland to sit down for an interview with him. I'm gonna tell them why Johnny puts a beep over this part of the show so you'll never know what it is, but I want you to see their reactions and I'm going to do it right now. Ooh. And that's where I go back to like, we're friends in the game. We support each other. We, 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 we help each other out. Can you imagine had I put that on Hollywood? Like, oh, there's one more thing. Beat this, Johnny. Woo! So that in itself, I think Beyonce could have gave me a, you know what I mean? Like there should be a little love there. Now. Maybe she doesn't know. She know, Beyonce doesn't know. Yeah, I don't think Beyonce, Yvette they're not going to share that Yvette with her. knows. Her I got the receipts. Know. I still her have the receipts. Know. Yvette know I got the receipts. I got them. Now, if now if I get that message to Beyonce, yes, I can get to it know. to be. Oh, 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 oh! I'm connected. I could get the message to Beyonce. She needs to know. And I think people like her publicist, who I love, and I'm just being critical. That's just what I do. You know that, Yvette. We're trying to book Kelly Rowland right now. Now, if I don't get Kelly Rowland because I say this about, then, 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 then it's gonna be a problem. Then I'm putting out receipts. The receipts I just told y'all about. Then I'll put those out. Huh? Whew. The fires that will come over there. I ain't worried. I ain't going nowhere. 
I'm telling you not right now. I'm not playing this industry game. Now back then, fans dismissed Jason's rant, claiming he was just salty. Plus, no one really believed he actually had some tea to spill on Beyonce. But fast forward to today, and now that rumor mill is buzzing with speculations about Beyonce maybe splitting from Jay. Social media users are connecting the dots, saying maybe this was the hot tea Jason was waving around and threatening to spill on Beyonce. Now for those who might be a bit lost on where these divorce rumors even started, let me break it down. We all know Jay had stepped out on Beyonce before and he's been linked with multiple women over the years. But this latest drama kicked off when people started digging into Jay-Z and his ties with Diddy. And word on the street is that Beyonce got hit with some major blindsides about the shady moves Jay was making with Diddy and how she's now allegedly trying to untangle herself from the mess before it all blows up in their faces. Now we all know that Jay-Z and Diddy used to be tight like glue for literally decades, but things recently took a turn. Just months before Cassie dropped her lawsuit bomb, Diddy spilled the beans in an interview saying only his mom and Jay-Z get the privilege of calling him Sean. Basically, he was implying that they were like real brothers. But see, at the time of this interview, Diddy most likely knew that Cassie was preparing to file her bombshell lawsuit. In fact, Cassie's lawyers claimed that Diddy was trying to negotiate with Cassie for a long time, allegedly offering her millions in exchange for her silence. And this is what some folks are now speculating, that Diddy name-dropped Jay-Z in that interview on purpose. Almost like he was sending him a warning to stay out of the whole mess with Cassie because Diddy could take him down with him. Besides that, whispers in the industry are saying Jay shares a lot in common with Diddy in terms of how they treat women. In fact, Jaguar Wright recently made some bold allegations against Jay, claiming that he's even worse than Diddy and that the only reason he's staying silent on the Diddy drama is because he knows Diddy could drag him down with him and expose how Jay allegedly treats his wife. Sean Carter is worse. Uh oh. Oh, man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. Mm -hmm. This been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years. But hold up, there's more to spill on this tea party. Jaguar also went deep into the rumors about Jay allegedly getting involved with much younger women artists, from Foxy Brown and Aaliyah to Tiara Marie and possibly even Rihanna. And don't even get me started on his friendship with R. Kelly and the way he refused to cut ties with Kelly even after Kelly's disgusting crimes were exposed. And he was working with R. Kelly and they were making so many records together. You know, they made all of those records together. They both, Aaliyah, they shared so much in common. Whoever talks about best of the both worlds, best of both worlds, nobody talks about that. Nobody project. talks about this yet. Nobody yeah, they, talks I about that project. Clip that smooth under the rug. Why? <laughs> On top of all this, Beyonce's fans have been out here side-eyeing her relationship with Jay for a minute. First of all, there's been a lot of mystery about how and when they first met. Beyonce claimed she was 18 when they met and started dating a year later. But in a 2007 interview with Charlie Rose, Jay-Z got all nervous when Rose asked him how long he had known B. And then he let it slip that they met 10 years ago. Wow, a long time. How long? Ten years? How long? How long? However long she's been recording. That's, that's <laughs> when I met her. Uh, well, don't you remember how long it was? Yeah, when I met her. I mean, was it five I, years ago? Or was it? I met her ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but um, well, did you say to yourself at that time, "Wow"? I, I said, "Yeah, she's that's a fantastic uh, talent." That was that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. So if you do the math, they met in 1997. That would mean Beyonce was either 15 or 16, while Jay was 28. People are now also digging into the receipts about Jay's past relationships before Beyonce. And word on the street is he was getting cozy with Foxy Brown when she was just 14 or 15, promising to make her a Hollywood success. Basically, I'm talking about some very similar vibes to what Diddy pulled with Cassie when she was just 19 and he was 36. To add to this, there have been a lot of rumors over the past few years that Jay got Beyonce hooked on some substance. Again, just like Diddy did to Cassie. Beyonce's supposed ex-bodyguard, Uncle Ron, claimed that Jay's got the reins in their relationship, pulling the strings and keeping Beyonce under his control with substances. Yeah, Beyonce's on She's been on him for a long time, and you keep her that way.
And then Jaguar made some similar allegations, claiming that Beyonce is basically living like a prisoner in a gilded cage. Y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. Uh, the Beyonce is she is a prisoner in a gilded cage. Oh. But there's another twist that sent these divorce rumors on a roller coaster ride. So Jay Z recently stepped up to bat for Beyonce against the Grammys, calling them out for never giving her that album of the year nod. Now, a bunch of folks were nodding their heads in agreement, giving Jay props for standing up for his queen. But people clocked how Beyonce looked all kinds of uncomfortable and annoyed during his Grammy defense. And it was also bizarre how, instead of Jay calling her by her name, he went with this young lady. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys, never won album of the year. That doesn't work. Also, as soon as Jay wrapped up his little speech, he, Beyonce, and Blue dipped. And you gotta admit, this was all kinds of weird because Jay was there to pick up his Global Impact Award. So he respects the Grammys enough to receive an award from them, but at the same time, he thinks those same people are biased against his wife? Like, make it make sense. Plus, why put your wife on the spot like that and then not even call her by her name or at least say, my wife? I don't know, y'all, but the whole thing gave me weird vibes and honestly, it reminded me of how Diddy shouted out Cassie when BET gave him that Lifetime Achievement Award just months before Cassie's lawsuit dropped. Anyway, rumor has it that Beyonce has been working so hard lately, like pushing out her hair care line and dropping a new album, all because she's on a money mission trying to build her business empire independent of Jay before all the deets about Jay's alleged shady business with Diddy hits the fan. And now some fans are saying that T. Jason Lee claimed he had on Beyonce probably had some something to do with Jay-Z and his friendship with Diddy. Because Jason made those comments just weeks after Cassie dropped her lawsuit and people started connecting the dots between how Diddy treated Cassie and how Jay allegedly treats his wife. Y'all, I told you this whole situation is messier than a spilled drink. And Jason might have some serious tea in his hands about Jay and Beyonce. Now we're not sure if he's gonna spill the whole pot, but one thing's crystal clear. When he starts talking, he's not holding back. Anyway, the social platforms are buzzing with thoughts and opinions on this drama and fans are saying they won't be surprised if Jay-Z really turns out to be worse than Diddy. One fan said it felt as if Jay-Z was given his farewell speech and ranting before throwing them deuces. No matter your status, you can't run from the skeletons that are in your closet. It was very different seeing his daughter Blue on stage accompanying Jay-Z and she's dressed for the Grammys versus this young lady in his words, B who's sitting in the audience dressed like she's going to a rodeo. But a lot of people are convinced that Beyonce is not a victim and that she's probably worried about her own skeletons falling out of the closet behind Jay's. Someone said, I don't think Beyonce is as innocent as they make her out to be. Jay and Bay need to stay married so they can't testify against each other. But let me know how you feel about all this talk about the Carters. Do you think Beyonce could actually file the papers or is she too deep now to back out? Drop your comments down below and then check out this next video.